Hi guys and welcome to All Fired Up. Justin's really busy again this week in the workshop because we've got the Ahura Day coming up in two days time and he's frantically doing last minute things. So what I'm going to do is go through the checklist of your armour. Um, if you're a fighter, this is something that you should be well acquainted with uh, and if you're not then for heaven's sakes. And um, if you're a newbie or if you're just interested, these are some of the things that we look for on our suits of armour before a big tournament. And um, this is what we call preventative maintenance. It just makes sure that your gear is as good as it can possibly be so that you don't have any um, like stupid stuff ups right before the tournament. If you open your suitcase to find that you forgot to do your gauntlet strap or you have popped a rivet that would have taken you two minutes in the workshop but you don't have any of your tools on site, um, this, is, you know, this is how to stop that sort of embarrassing moment from happening. So here we go. We're using Justin's suitcase today. This is... Um, his Steel Thorns armor kit, and uh, I haven't been through it yet, so we're gonna find out all the interesting things together. Now, one thing about the suitcases is, uh, this is a plastic hard-wearing one, and it has wheels on the bottom, and it has four wheels on the bottom, so that's something to note, is when you're traveling, four wheels means that it can stand up on its own, and it can wheel on its own, and that's really, really helpful in airports, um, especially when you're going international. Also, our steel thorns um, all have the same size suitcase, so we can fit like eight in a ute. I mean, it really helps for travel and stuff. Now, this might look like a jumble, but uh, some of the things we're looking for, so here we go, straight up. This is the brigadine. We've got a strap missing here. We've got a buckle missing here. So that's one thing we need to do before uh, Saturday, is make sure that we replace this um, and get that going. We've got a greave. Again, there's a couple of nicks and tears. So when we have a bit more time, this sort of nick and tear on your canvas, you want to put some glue over it, you want to darn it, and you just want to stop these uh, lines from tearing. But for tournament-wise, perfectly good. The laces, so we do ours with laces because it's a cheaper way to tie them. The, these are called aglets. They're still in good condition. Both of them, uh, all of the rivets still attached. And the seam lines, you can see they are really nice. And then we've got... Um, nice holes that are still in good nick there. So that's one grave um, and it's in perfect nick for a tournament this weekend. When you're going through armour and stuff you want to be looking at um, like condition of the rivets so these are fairly brand new or reconditioned at least um, so all the rivets are still really tight on this the buckles are still in good condition and more importantly this thread is still in good condition because this is only wax linen thread which is I mean, it's very historically correct but it's only wax linen thread so it does rot through especially when it's kept in you know a damp suitcase or whatever um, so that's one of the sort of that's one of the points will give out on your armor very quickly so that's one thing to note serpentons are in good condition uh, continuing on it's a shame you guys can't smell what's in here here we have a leg harness. This is a spring steel hardened leg harness with uh, um, butt plates and leather on the top. This is going to need, so on my checklist, we've got some um, blackenings come off here and that's just from like generic movement and stuff. There's no real dents in it. So, you know, run your hand over your cops, make sure there's no massive dents in it. Um, everything's still functioning fine. And on the insides, have a look. Buckles are still lovely. The other thing is, if we look closely in here, there's no wear in these straps. There's no chance that, you know, they're on the last legs. They're not going to snap in the next 10 minutes. So that is, um, yeah, perfectly good. All of these, um, you'll start to see after a couple of years, a bit of wear in the leather hinges. They're all fine. Um, the next one, as you go higher, uh, you want to be checking these holes. They're a bit stretched but they're um, perfectly intact. One thing to note is the laces of shame. Uh, so when you pop a lace during tournament, we give you a nice big bright pink one to remind you to change your laces before the next one. So that's another thing on my checklist or Justin's checklist for the weekend is change the laces of shame. Here is a cod piece. And again, we're looking for no dents. Uh, this will need a quick spray. Everything basically in this kit just needs a really quick spray. We've got no issues with the leather, straps are fine. Um, again, with your checklist, you're not only looking to make sure that your gear is intact um, 
and is in good condition, you're also looking to make sure it's in your suitcase because everything we're going to pull out, we're going to put back in a minute. But um, for instance, I've noticed already that there's no gauntlets in this suitcase, which means that I now need to go and find some gauntlets. Um, so that's going to be my next step. Here we have the arm harness. So uh, with the steel thorns gear, everything's always attached to the gambeson um, and the brigadine, and it just means on and off time. So from putting your armor on, it should be about six minutes instead of the 45 minutes it can take to strap us up. But what I'm looking for here is I'm looking for that the setup is correct so that the um, pauldrons, pauldrons should be technically on the top, then the rear brace is on the bottom, and then the elbow crop sits over the top of uh, the van brace and the rear brace and it's just sort of a an on top piece and so what I'm doing is I'm just checking that the setup is correct here and again we've got um, you know good rivets nice canvas uh, we've got no issues with the leather so I mean it's really good to see that uh, upon random inspection of Justin's gear it's all in pretty good nick so for example if I zoom up here whoop, this is about to go so this is a preventative maintenance thing. Best thing to do is to take this off, pop a new rivet in there, um, and then it'll be good to go for the weekend. If we left that on, uh, I don't think that would last more than one hit from a sword. Then you'd have something flying off in the ring and you risk the marshal saying, um, armor malfunction off the field. Like this isn't perhaps the best example of armor malfunction because if Justin lost this in battle, it wouldn't be the end of the world. But sometimes marshals see a piece of armor fly off um, and they yell malfunction before they actually check what was wrong in the first place. So, you know, if it's if it saves you losing a man in a team of five where every point counts, then why not take the two minutes now to get that correct? Lastly, we are checking the gambeson because it's, you know, closest to the skin and it's um, usually the first thing into the suitcase. And you're checking your seams. So this is really important that you're checking your sewn seams as well as your armor seams. Because, um, you know, if, if your gammy gives out, then you're just, as, you're just as ruined on the day. And the other one is to check your points. And that's these leather toggles. Make sure that the shoelaces are, are correct. So we use shoelaces because, um, you know, they're, they're a dollar to 50 cents each. Um, they're really easy to get hold of and replace. The aglets on them are, um, you know, always fairly good. You can use modern laces. You can use, uh, I've seen people use leather laces. Um, and again, very traditional, but uh, like if it snaps every two minutes, then what are you doing with your life, right? So shoelaces is just one of those uh, modern alternatives that we use um, just to make life easier. Sport optimized is the term that we go for. Finally, last but not least, is the helmet. And if you have a look here, uh, get nice and close. We have a lot of dents um, in the top and of course, a slightly mangled faceplate just goes to show how much love he gets in the face. So um, I'll just switch around and show you a bit of it. So this is some of the damage. This helmet has, um, it's sustained damage, but this is certainly not a retired helmet. And it just goes to show, you know, the quality, not to <laughs> push your own boat, but the quality of these helmets is that like these, these are dense, but they're gonna pop out in about two seconds. Um, and the helmet's gonna keep on going. So the reason we use spring steel is because it springs back. Um, and so it knows the shape it should be. All you have to do is pop it on a ball stake and these dents will pop right out and uh, it's good to go again. Again, with this helmet, we're making sure that we've got nice stitching on the side and that stitching is maintained. We've got good rivets there. Um, we've got great leather on the outside now and uh, checking your chainmail has got no massive holes in it, stuff like that. This is riveted chain, so it very rarely gets a big old hole in it. And of course, because of Battle of Nations and safety and all that, we're checking the under, uh, under chain neck stuff as well, just to make sure that's all intact. So yeah. So that is your checklist for pre-tournament armor checking. Um, again, you're going through your suitcase and A, have a suitcase, don't have it, you know, tossed in the car and everywhere because you don't know what's in there. Have something dedicated, even if it's just a canvas bag. Um, and you're gonna just go through every piece of your armor um, and just look for straps, possible wear and tear anything that could pop off um, because again if you take two minutes a couple of days before your event to just double check on it like it might save your life simple as that it, it, it might 100% save your life um, it might save your eyeballs it might save your fingers um, but also like really simply it might just save you being really embarrassed by you know pulling out your gauntlet and finding it that it 
rotted in your bag and now you can't fight and maybe you've driven six hours to <laughs> you know maybe you've driven six hours to a tournament and you haven't done a two minutes piece of um like preventative maintenance and now you can't fight so like it's really really important is just go through your gear before you get there um and it's am- like i know i'm harping on about this but it is amazing how many people don't bother to check their gear before they drive for six hours or fly to the other side of the world to check that their armor is actually working um so cool thanks for watching um and and joining us guys and also to all the new people who have joined us in the last few days thank you very much for um you know hopping on the bandwagon and uh looking forward to more stuff in the future